now there's two calls in the line. Probably won't get to both of them. We didn't get any calls about the so-called Ground Zero Mosque. Do we want to say something about that ourselves? Wow. Uh, sure, you or, can hit it real quick while they're queuing this one up. Um, I'll just say, uh, I thought that religion was dangerous and stupid on September 10, and I still thought so on September 12, and the only difference was that uh, a pl uh, some planes full of uh, Muslims had given me a really excellent uh, uh, example. Uh, and, of course, thousands of people died. Um, the laws haven't changed. And, the, uh, and the, the, this nonsense that somehow there's something magically different about that spot because thousands of people died there, that means that the laws need to be set aside so that the, these other people who happen to have the same religion, even if they were in favor of 9-11, that they then can't have their building, is, I think, ridiculous. Yeah. And then you add in the fact that it's five blocks away, which is by and large irrelevant, but... Um, and that there's already a mosque that's closer, that's been there since before the towers. Um, whether, whether or not it's in good taste, I, I don't care. I'm not convinced that it's not in good taste. I, I've, everybody I've heard talk about this from Sam Harris on down, I think, I think Pat Condell is, is, has gone over the top on this. I think that Sam Harris, by saying, yes, it's illegal, but, or yes, it's legal and should be, but it's in really bad taste, so we shouldn't do it, I think they're all wrong. I think the, the fact of the matter is that we live in a uh, diverse society where freedom of religion is one of the things that we cherish and protect and that if a particular spot of land would would allow a religious organization to build a facility on there of any type whether it's a mosque or community center or a taco stand um, that you know brings in funds for their church you have to allow any religion to do it it's, I, it's all I, or nothing i think it is in bad taste in the same sense that denise believing that uh that uh it's my choice that i'm going to be tortured forever is in bad taste but I, you won't hear me saying that denise's church can't have a building well the question is do you think it would be in bad taste to put any religious building there or just muslims because if you just think it's in bad taste because it's Muslims, then I think... I, I think all religious buildings are in bad taste for pretty much those same reasons, there but it's, they're not illegal, and that's, not, yeah. that's really not an issue. All right, probably last call of the day, Jim in Louisville. How you doing? Hello, how you doing today? Pretty Thank good. We, we only have a couple minutes. I'm sorry you called in towards the end of the show, so get to it quick. Well, basically, I, I heard you chatting about the mosque in uh, New York, and the only point I have to make on that particular subject is, uh, you know, I agree that we do live in a country of religious freedom. Uh, that's all well and fine. But I think there's so much persecution towards the Christian faith right now because there's a Christian uh, establishment there that has been uh, held up with uh, red tape, cannot get their building rebuilt after it was destroyed after 9-11, and yet this mosque can move forward. So I, I just really think that that is totally wrong, that they're going to be let the Christians be persecuted and allow these mosques per to be pushed forward. Red tape equals persecution, Jim? Uh, it, it does when you can actually uh, allow a mosque to move forward. So no, 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 no. The the two different buildings, two different... Rebuilt after Jim. It was there for much longer time. It was Jim. there for over 100 years, if I Jim. remember correctly. Jim, two different buildings, two different locations, two different legal situations. If one is encountered red tape and the other is not, it's not persecution. And it's not like, oh, you know, because we're letting the Muslims go ahead and build theirs, therefore we should ignore whatever... Uh, you know, legal red tape the, uh, the, the Christian church has run into. Two different situations, and uh, it, it, it's not persecution. That's ridiculous. Okay, well, let me pass another thing at, at you on this particular situation. Okay. How about the um, funding for this particular establishment? What about uh, it? They're already talking about how they're going to take funding from any source, including overseas, and a lot of these funding sources are going to be terrorist organizations. So Should what? that be allowed? D if they want to build a McDonald's and take some funds from overseas, are you going to object to that? If it's from a terrorist organization, yes, sir, I would. If there are, okay, if then there are laws, consistent. if there are laws in place blocking funds from terrorist or organizations entering the United States for any purpose, then those laws are in place, and those and those laws should be applied. I agree. Okay, but no, special new laws shouldn't be put in place just to stop this building. 
No, I'm not saying that at all. Okay. What well, I'm we're agreed on that. They've one. already made mention that they're going to allow different organizations to fund this particular building through uh, many different uh, finance channels, and we need to make sure that that is not going to be terrorist funds. Because all this Why? is, this is a victory mosque. What? This is a no. victory mosque, very similar to the one that they planted in Jerusalem on, on the Temple Mount. They're really? trying to put a mosque that's showing that they beat us. That's all this is. So, they beat, so wait a minute. So, so, they, let, me, so let me ask you this. Um, when a Christian church is built five blocks away from an abortion clinic that was bombed by a Christian, is that a victory church? Not at all. Then go away. And since when did they beat us? I mean, they can believe whatever bizarre nonsense that they want. In fact, I think they already do. This, this since when did they beat us? Are we all Muslims now? We're, we're out of time. Okay. Uh, and I don't have time for oversimplifications and people in a majority position who want to cry persecution uh, about an apples and oranges comparison. Um, I already gave a list of the things that are coming up. Please visit, stop by the website, www.atheist-community.org for more information about things that are coming up. There's the crew. I don't know if their camera's working or not, uh, but they're the ones who actually make this stuff work. So thanks a lot to everybody who called in, and we'll see you all next week. Feel free to drop by Thread Guild. We'll be there shortly. Bye-bye. The content of this video is produced by the Atheist Community of Austin, a nonprofit educational organization promoting positive atheism in the separation of church and state. If you enjoyed this content and are willing and able to provide a donation, please visit the website below. Thank you.